Hello my friends, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. I haven't like really spoken to you guys. I feel like my life has been hectic. I have felt very overwhelmed. 2024 has been a weird freaking year. We touched upon how I'm trying to get more in tune with my emotions. I've been journaling, all the kind of things. And I was doing a really good job in January. And then February came and I started physical therapy. And it's kind of just been like taking over my life. If you are unaware, I sound like an old lady, but I hurt my hip. Just, you know, one day I woke up and you know how those things happen. I woke up and my hip just started hurting. Really old lady. I went to an orthopedist. I'm terrible with like doctor names, but I went to an orthopedic, right? I don't know. And she checked out my hip. She told me I should go to physical therapy. I got an x-ray, x-ray came back fine, la 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 la. I've been in physical therapy. I think this was my third week this week, but so I go twice a week for an hour. And then every day I have to do my PT exercises once in the morning and once at night. And someone that works full time and then also has all these other things that she's trying to do, it has like sent my routine, especially my morning routine, in a downward spiral. The hip issue is really throwing a wrench in my workouts. I love working out and I am not like so obsessed with the way that I look. I used to be, I feel like as I've gotten older, I've learned to accept myself more, but I feel like crap. I really haven't been moving. The fact that I can only do physical therapy and yoga, my PT, I love her. Shout out to Linda. She told me that I can't do the Peloton anymore. I need to take a break, no more spin class. She told me no weight lifting. The only thing I can do is upper body. And if you know anything about me, I absolutely hate working on my upper body. I really wanna look chiseled and buff but I hate working out that. So literally all I've been doing is yoga. I joined a gym so that I can do yoga and I'm gonna go a lot this weekend because thankfully by the time this video goes up, Michael will be back, but Mike is away for a few days. And so it is just me, myself and I, even though it's not really because I have my sister who's staying with me. I'm not alone, but Mike's not here. So I'm just gonna be filling my time with yoga classes and trying to get myself back on track. So we're gonna try and get myself back on track. This is like day four of me getting myself back on track. I needed to do it silently. You know, like when you commit to something and you just need to like focus and do it. Things that I've been doing that I have been so lacking upon lately, eating healthier. I've been eating like trash. I haven't been getting any protein all I eat is carbs, all I eat is pasta, and that's fine, I had pasta last night. I need to eat more protein, I need to have a more balanced diet. I don't like this. This is the first time I've ever tried, not very good, but I'm just I'm just eating it because we're trying to give ourselves the nutrition that we need. I'm drinking more water, I have not been drinking any water, I haven't been getting my steps in, I haven't been hitting my calorie goals like my calories burn goals. So I'm just, I'm taking it with me. This is gonna be like a revamp Fortune's life. Got her back on track. We're gonna do that together. Had my collagen coffee this morning, you know. We're keeping up with the collagen coffee. I will say on the bright side, the flip side of this, I have been doing a lot more yoga and I really enjoy doing yoga, but I gotta say I really enjoy lifting heavy things and putting them down as well. It does hurt a little bit when you build up all this muscle and then over the span of like four to eight weeks, you can't do the things because you know muscle growth comes from repetition. I stopped doing any of the repeating of the anything because I can't lift anything. It's pleading in my heart to see my muscles go from not big but like bigger to like you know less. One thing about me when I'm home I do not answer the door. I don't give a shit who it is. I'm not answering the door and I don't pick up the landline because your girl has watched one too many scream videos and I am not picking up the landline to play scary movie trivia because I don't watch scary movies. I can't even sit still to sit through any kind of movie and so I will be murdered. And I don't answer the phone, I don't answer the door, just things that I don't do. Mike sent me some flowers and I, I watched the lady ring the doorbell like 18 times. She left them at the door, but look how pretty these are. If you know anything about me, you know I love a floral arrangement. He's so cute. I didn't even realize how codependent I am on my husband until he told me that he was leaving me for like, well, it's not even a very long time. I dropped him off at the airport last night. I cried a little bit when we were saying goodbye and then I sobbed the whole way home. Life's story of moi hysterical in the car at all times. Look how pretty. I mean, I wish the lighting was better. Look at this rose. It's like the prettiest, like, oh my God. This is 
giving. I love the variety of the flowers. I'm a sucker for flowers. I know it's, it's probably silly. Hello, do you like the flowers? Do not eat my flowers, sir. Okay, I'm gonna move away from the flowers, but like, <gasps> I will say the one good thing, my physical therapist told me that I can get back on the treadmill. I just can't do an incline any longer because apparently your girl doesn't know how to walk correctly. I can only walk on flat land, but I'm gonna walk for an hour, get my steps in. I have not been like so concerned with my calories burned per day. I used to always hit my 550 goal. You know, I had like a 185 day streak, but right now I'm just focusing on getting 10,000 steps. Easier on myself, but still a goal that makes me feel good. So let's hop on the treadmill. Hour is complete. I've been watching Victoria McGrath. I love her vlogs. So this is what I did. Loving this light. We have been sunless for the longest time. We're supposed to get snow again tomorrow. Not that the snow has been that bad. And honestly, it's not bad for me because my husband does all the shoveling. However, said who's been is not gonna be here for the snow tomorrow. So I'm really praying that it's not really gonna snow. Me and shoveling and no, I feel like spring is on the horizon because it is so bright and I'm watching my little squirrel friend climb up that house with it looks like a big ass piece of bread in his mouth. I love the squirrels, I love them. I'm probably gonna feed them. Can you hear my work laptop overheating? Holy shit, I'm taking a break <laughs> from work because my laptop, she's having a moment. And honestly, I feel like I'm having a moment as well. We've just been doing too much today. I just showered and changed from my workout clothes to more workout clothes because I'm going to yoga. So that's fun. I need to just like throw a little bit of skincare on and I just wanted to chit chat because I've been using a lot of castor oil, you guys know, in the brows, on my lashes and my milia are on a whole new level. If you don't know what those are, they're like the little white balls that form under your skin. My milia is insane, but also I've been really lacking on the exfoliating because ever since I went to Vegas, man, and I got my hydrofacial, my facialist told me that I'm exfoliating too much and my skin is thin. I haven't really been exfoliating at all, but I think that there should be a happy balance between the two. So that is what I'm working on and I need to get rid of these little white bumps. And I also need to brush my hair. Do not like this workout outfit that I'm rocking. I feel a little insecure about it. Oh my goodness gracious. Update on this though, I got this. In a recent vlog, I ordered this from Amazon. This is terrible. I hate this, my husband hates it. This is the La Roche Posay extra dry skin, body and face. Oh my God. I am extra dry, I am extra dry. However, my skin doesn't absorb this, especially on like my chest. Right now, it feels like I slathered my skin in moisturizer. You know like those moisturizing masks? I think Avene makes one where you're supposed to put it on and then like pat off the excess. Like I feel itchy and like moist because my skin just like doesn't absorb this. I really hate this and I'm never gonna buy this again. But a lot of people like this, so maybe you will like it. I feel like a wet seal, a wet sticky seal. Used to the people exfoliator. I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and working it around my eyes. I don't know if this is a good idea, but you know, I'm not getting it in my eye. I'm just putting it over those little bumpies. I'm really loving this. And this is like a dupe for Tatcha water cream. It's not like drugstore, but it's more affordable. It's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial. And since yoga is at 5.30 and the sun will no longer be out, I'm not gonna put any SPF on. The day is coming to an end. Don't you just like hate that? I hate that in the winter. It's 3.30 and it's like, oh, well, the day is over, even though I'm not gonna go to bed for another like seven hours. <laughs> Winter blues, man. Shit is for the birds. I did not sleep well last night at all. My first night without Miguel and I just sleeping without him, I was scared to turn the TV off and <laughs> I'm someone where I need to sleep in the dark. I don't like light. I don't like the TV. I like, I'm like a vampirist, okay? But last night, 
I kept the TV on until midnight because I couldn't, I was like scared. I'm a, I'm a big baby. Are you afraid of the dark? Depending on the circumstance. This is the Ule Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Brush the brows up just to like make myself look a little bit more awake. I am not someone that put makeup on to go to a yoga class or to go to the gym or to work out. I had to get away from my laptop because the overheating, it's still overheating. I restarted it. I don't know what's happening and it's driving me crazy. I figured why not sit in Michael's office because look at the light. It's like so much happier in here. I know I just said that I don't wear makeup, but I honestly don't count this as makeup, but I bought this at the drugstore because we all know. I have a drugstore problem. This is an e.l.f. clear brow and lash mascara. Why don't we see how it holds up in yoga? I'm just like on a manhunt for this lip liner. It's like, I think it's called Baddest Beige Peachy Lip Liner and no one sells e.l.f. lip liners. It's funny because Mike was like, you are on such an e.l.f. kick and I really am. This is what it looks like. I like that it's like a two in one. It says lashes on this side. I did just curl them a little bit because my lashes are like a bit non-existent. Oh, it's like jelly. It doesn't really smell like anything. Let's see if this does anything. I don't know. Little things like this could be game changing. Do clear mascaras work? I've never tried one. This is a first. Like, how do you know when you're done with it? And then on the other side, it says brows. They seem to be very similar. This is a little bit thicker. I don't know. They look very the same. This smells a little different, but I'm wondering if it's different or if it's just for the sake of keeping yourself sanitary. What do we think? Did that do anything? I'm just a girly girl and this is fun to me. I don't mind it. I think it was like three bucks too. So that was fun. Trying to decide whether I should change. I'm not feeling confident in this little belly shirt. I just feel naked, you know? I feel naked and I feel sticky from my lotion. So I might throw on some Gymshark like sweats, but I need to move and I need to groove because I need to leave in 10 minutes to go pick up Amanda. All right, this is it. This is so much better. I can yoga in them. I can lounge in them. I feel like we're doing like a impromptu Amazon review. My socks that I bought from Amazon and I showed you guys in my recent video, I love them. But let me tell you something. I'm not wearing them to yoga because I wore them the other day. They, there's like so many pairs in there and I own so many socks. So I haven't really made it through all of the new socks. So I've just been wearing them as I got them. You know, I didn't wash them before I wore them and the other night, Amanda and I went to our yoga class. I got sock fuzzies all over the gym floor. I guess because they're new. I don't really know how that works. This lighting is terrible. But I rolled out my mat and I was doing yoga and there were fuzzies all over my toes. There were fuzzies all over my mat. I was like actually mortified and so embarrassed. So I'm wearing my little Puma socks. But other than that, as soon as I wash the socks, I feel like I'm absolutely gonna love them because the height is great. They're so cute and I love them and they're so trendy. Let me grab my bag and my mat, but this is my yoga look. I am an evil eye bitch. Let us go. Let us namaste the night away. I really can't get over these flowers. How beautiful. And I feel like the lighting is so much better now. So excuse me while I be that annoying woman. Oh, look at what my husband bought me. I hate those people, but honestly, I am, I am, I am those people. I am also the people that my husband told me he was going away and I was like, well, what can I have of yours? Because I'm going to be sad without you. And can I just tell you that if you knew the backstory, everybody's got a backstory. No, um, that's an inside joke between Mike and I. But if you knew that I have been lusting over this sweatshirt since the moment I met Michael. He left it for me to wear. And I promised him I'd give it back, but it's gonna be really hard. It's so cozy. And honestly, the best part is that it smells like him. This is like the best gym clothes. We went from like hoochie mama, leggings and a crop top, to who I really am. This is who I really am in an outfit. Like if I could live in pajamas all day long, I would. Oh, I miss him. He smells so good. Morning. Good 
Yes, I'll give you something too. Yes, everyone's gonna get something. Here you go, sir. Here you go, ma'am. Here, come here. And this is for myself and my sanity. Oh, thank God it's good because Mike didn't make it. I had to make it myself. I am a lady of leisure and I'm not saying that I'm, I'm spoiled. Okay. My husband treats me like a princess and I am forever grateful. But let me tell you something when he is not here, it makes me realize just how much that he does. How, well, I mean, I do things. Okay. But my husband does a lot. It is like snowing a lot. And I am quite honestly standing here watching the snow, <laughs> drinking my first cup of coffee and contemplating if I should go outside and shovel because it's a lot so that I can enjoy my second cup of coffee in peace. But the other part of me, like who I really am, which honestly is a procrastinator is like, bitch, sit your ass down, drink your other cup of coffee. And hopefully like the snow will magically melt away. It's not melting away. It's not melting away. It's not melting away. Like, do you see how much snow is on that little table right there? Ugh. This is honestly the least, this is, the last thing, the last thing I would like to do today, but here she is, a hardworking gal, and I am ready. If you knew, if you knew how many pairs of pants I was wearing right now, honey, it's like five. I, no, I don't, th uh, this, no. This whole image, this is the incorrect image for me. Like what doesn't belong? Me. Me. But let's get it done. Let's make daddy happy. Let's make daddy proud. I'm so sad. I could honestly, I'm so dramatic, but I could honestly cry. I could. I'm done. My mother-in-law brought my father-in-law over and Mike's uncle to shovel. And thank God I was like 90% done with shoveling because I do not want any of them shoveling. It was so sweet of them to come over. I love, like I don't like shoveling and I hate the cold, but I love how plump my face looks after a good freezing session. Like look at those cheeks, they're cheeking. I don't know what this sweater is doing. Love the colors, hate the neck. I got this on Amazon. It's the S-N-T-E hair wax stick. I'm hoping you can see. Do you see like these guys up here? So it's basically like a deodorant stick. You push it up and then I just take it and I slick my hair back with it. Can you see like all the guys standing up? I also got this on Amazon. Use this side. It has two sides. I use this side to just comb it down. I'm gonna wash my hair later. I don't like to leave this kind of stuff in my hair. I don't love my hair slicked back, but when I slick it back, I don't like those little guys sticking up. But look at that now. I will link it down below. Chic, sophisticated, even without a neck. Wow, this lighting is terrible. Oh my God. I try, we try in this house, but I told you the lighting is just terrible. Oh my goodness. I got a little out of control today. I got a little out of control. I think it's best to show you how out of control I got. This, unnecessary, but this, can you see what that says? Uh, the most unnecessary. Um, I don't know what happened. I had a day today. I woke up, clearly, you were with me. I kind of had a meltdown about shoveling the snow, but then actually the shoveling of the snow was very therapeutic. But my morning was just like so chaotic. I had a dream about my dad last night and it was literally like my mom was like, Fortune, dad wants to come say hi. And I was like, dad wants to come say hi. And she said, yeah. And I'm literally sitting there. My dad walks into my dream. He sits down at the table and like literally says hi. And I'm like, that's it. You're just going to say hi. And he said, yeah. So it was like, I woke up. I was in the frenzy of look at how blue I am. 
I was in the frenzy of like waking up, shoveling, walked on the treadmill for 45 minutes. My mom called me and was like, we're gonna go to, oh my God, it was just like a lot. It was just like one thing after another. And so I basically had to rush my morning, which is fine because I got to go see my grandma, my aunt Debbie, my mom, my sister, it was nice. We went to my grandma's. My mom bought lunch for all of us. We brought it to my grandma's apartment. What was I saying? Oh, there's pee all over the floor. I gotta clean the pee on the floor. Okay, anywho, that was another thing that I had to do. I had to clean the pee all over the floor. I had to change all the pads for the dog. It's just like a lot. What is this mess? You made a mess? Yeah, she knows she made a mess. She doesn't care. It was just a lot. I'm always like grateful for my husband and I know how much my husband does, but holy shit, when my husband's not here and I have to do the things. <sighs> That's all I, I can't even say how I feel. It's just, I miss him so much. So had the dream about my dad, haven't been sleeping that well because I just miss sleeping with my husband. Basically rushed to get to my mom's, to go to my grandma's, but like in the car, I was driving. We all know, we know. I am, I don't, I need to come up with a term for it, but I am like a driving, I'm a distraught driver who just cries all the time. So I'm driving and I'm driving on a road that's near my parents' house and I look up and it's like all the trees that like line this road are bare and they have like snow on them and it just looks so pretty. And I literally was thinking about my dad and I was like, oh, and then I thought about the dream that I had about my dad. And then I kid you not, a hawk flew right over my car and it was like right over my car so close to the hood of my car that like if there was no windshield, I could have like reached up and grabbed the hawk and I, lost it. I don't know if I've ever told you, but like me and my sister are convinced that my dad like sends hawks or like is a hawk. I don't believe in reincarnation, honestly. I like to think that we just like die and go to a better place and that we don't need to relive this life in another version. That's just my beliefs and preference. When that happened, I just like lost it because it was like I had the dream about my dad. I then thought about my dad and then the same instance that I thought about my dad and like the nature and I was like, oh, my dad would love this. And then the hawk flew over the car and I went, I went, lost it. I know, we're like this, we wanna see the unboxing. We're getting there. I don't know if we're gonna do it tonight though. So this is how I felt all day today. And then as I'm like really close to my mom's house, Mike FaceTimes me and I, he's like, what's the matter? And I just, I was, I was sobbing, sobbing. And then Mike called me and I pulled it together a little bit and then after we went to my grandma's, went back to my mom's. I then went to Ulta and got some things. I mean, do we just wanna see? I'm not gonna put them on, but like I had gift cards and I'm really just trying to find e.l.f. lip liners, damn it. And they didn't have any, nowhere has the e.l.f. lip liners. Also, when I was at my mom's, she got this like brow slash, if you hear a broken running around like a lunatic, he is a lunatic. She got this brow slash hairline like filler in. I did it in my brows and I did a little bit in my hair and I kind of want to buy it, but I, I can't buy anything else. Like my credit card, she should melt if she knows what's best for her and I. What did I even buy? I bought three things and I don't even understand how it was. It was like $90. I need new sunscreen because I ran out of my Murad sunscreen and I've always wanted to try a tinted one. And this is a Veen SPF 50 and it's a mineral multi-defense tinted sunscreen fluid for your face. I don't know why. I think this was like the most expensive thing that I bought and I don't know why I bought this. Oh, I like this packaging though because I keep saying that I wanna buy the Shiseido but you get 1.7 full ounces. Sorry, this lighting is just... I just wanna try like fun colors, fun lipsticks. So I feel a little worried about this but I bought MAC in the shade So You. I love that Ulta carries MAC. I got this color, I don't know. Oh, it looks like somebody touched it though. Does that not look like someone touched it? Oh my God, yeah, somebody did touch it. Cause there's lipstick all over the side. Okay, I think I'm gonna return that. And then Bobbi Brown, I don't know why, but this bitch has been on my mind and I saw these lipsticks and I was like, I really want one cause I like the packaging and I just want like a fun lipstick. So is this one touched too? Why do these all look used? This is a problem. Okay, now I'm annoyed. Ulta had a Clinique lipstick called Something Pop, but they sold out of it. So then I went to my favorite place, you know, 
the mall. I don't even need to say what mall it is. We all know what mall it is at this point. And I went into Bloomingdale's and I went to the clinic counter and I tried the lipstick on, which I never recommend. Don't try the lipsticks on, but she did the alcohol thing. I just, I don't think it's sanitary, but I was desperate because I really wanted to see what the lip looked like. And thank God I did that because it looked terrible. Terry, she was so nice, so sweet spent some time with me. And I tried on a bunch of lipsticks. None of them looked good on me. I felt defeated. I went and I checked out this Longchamp bag that I wanted to buy because it was like mid price. It's like $400. Didn't really love that either. So I just felt like I wanted retail therapy. So then I went into YSL because I've been thinking about getting the bag that I got and I'm gonna show you. But I've been thinking about getting this bag either black or like a cream color. I really want the cream color though. I went and I met the sales associate, her name was Layla, so cute. And then like, honestly, I'm thinking about Bob because of the dream and the hawk. And then this girl was named Layla. And like, I always like Eric Clapton, when I, like when I think about music that my dad listened to, there's a lot of music that my dad listened to that I loved, classic rock. I always think of Eric Clapton because every time he asked what we wanted to listen to, I would always say Eric Clapton. My mom would always say David Bowie and nine out of 10 times my dad would play Eric Clapton because I asked. So he would play the Eric Clapton album in his pickup truck when we would drive down to my Aunt Lisa's or like when we were at the beach and just so it was a Layla, it was Eric Clapton, it was Bob, it was a Hulk, it was a whole lot of things. I just felt very emotional. I was very emotional today. But then Layla was like showing me the bags and like this bag is the same bag that I wanted but in a totally different color and like I don't know what happened but like I was really vibing with her. She seemed really nice. Then this other guy that worked there at YSL was like super nice too. And I know like you're saying fortune, they were nice because they wanna sell you things and I get it. But like sometimes people want to sell you things and you don't get the same vibe. Do you get what I'm saying? Layla was cool. She had like a rock and roll vibe to her. I liked her little, like she had like these silver bracelets all over her wrist. So basically she sold me on this bag. Then I'm driving home and all of a sudden I'm starving. So I went and I got a veggie wrap. This is the veggie wrap I had last night because now that it's Lent, I can't eat chicken or like meat, but I was craving this again. So I'm going to eat this wash my hands, and then we'll do a little unboxing. Let me tell you something, the video that I just filmed, I did a chit chat, get ready with me. It was supposed to be about new products, but I just, my anxiety is like crazy again. And I feel like some days it's okay. And some days it's just like on a whole other level of crazy, swinging a lot between like the being okay and the not being okay. And it's like swinging so much where I kind of feel a little bit nauseous. I don't know if anyone can relate to this. Let's do my bag unboxing. I need a happy moment and maybe I'll wear it tonight. Although I kind of want to wait for Mike to wear it. Is that weird? I don't know. I'm so weird. And I filmed, this is his office. I filmed his office. Oh my God. And yeah, that is a picture of me in case you've never seen this picture. I'll show it to you in a second. But it smells like him in here. And it's just, it's disgusting. We are disgusting. We are so disgusting that he has a picture of me in his office. In Napa, my favorite place. That was my first time in Napa. I think that was 2019. Look at my hair. Like, what is my hair doing? The bottom of my hair is like a skunk tail and it's so icy, but like, look at that landscape. The happiest place on earth. I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't lie to you. I've said many a times here on my channel, I just wanna live my life and do this as like an added joy because I really enjoy filming. I love filming, but like, I don't want filming to hinder me from the things that I enjoy doing. You know, does that make sense? But maybe it'll make sense. So Mike FaceTimed me. He was like, what did you do yesterday? And we all know, <laughs> aside from having a meltdown, we all know what I did yesterday. So obviously I told my husband, a bitch went shopping. He's like, oh my God, what did you get? Obviously, first of all, if it was reverse, I FaceTimed my husband and he told me he went shopping and he showed me an exciting designer bag or just anything, even if it was like a Walgreens bag and then he didn't show me what was in it, I would be upset. So I wasn't gonna deny him the pleasure of seeing what I bought, but also I wanted to share it with him. I, and I know you know what I'm saying. I unboxed this already. So I unboxed it with my husband, but then I reboxed it to unbox it with you. This is a lot and I hate the box and the bag because it's like, what do I recycle? What do I keep? It's just like a lot. But I guess when you're spending money on a designer piece, like you should have a nice bag and a nice box. But like, what am I doing with this box? You know what this box is gonna do? This box is gonna sit in my closet 
for the chance that one day I will no longer like this bag and I will want to sell it and someone will want it more if I have the original bag and the box. It's annoying though. And then it comes with a duster. I hate that this duster is so big. I mean, this is a big bag. It's not a small bag, but like, I feel like this is a little absurd and it's not really like a good one. It's not a good one. Like it doesn't have two pulley things to shut it. I know, picky, but like as a bag lady, just things that I notice and things that I appreciate and don't appreciate. So I don't appreciate that. Here she is. When I tell you that I feel like this is me in a handbag. She's like a nudie, but kind of gray. No, not gray, kind of green, I meant to say. Suede bag. I don't know what the name of it is. I should know because I just bought it. It's a Lay 5A 7 Supple Large in Suede. I don't feel like this is called Barley Green though. I feel like she called it like Oak or something. I'm thinking of this as a neutral. So let me lower you. This is her. I feel like this is me living my California life. This came out in their winter collection. I am not a snob in that sense. Like I love fashion and I love expensive things. I cannot deny either of those claims or statements about me. I just can't. I don't care. I wouldn't care if this was a bag that's five years old and I wouldn't even, I don't even care if it's out dated and not in. I like timeless pieces, I feel like for the most part. And I feel like this is just a timeless piece. And even if suede were to be out, which I don't ever really think of a time that suede would be out, but let's just say like suede, green, not into it. I would still wear this. Like, I don't think anyone would say this is an ugly or like off trend bag. Does that make sense? It's a suede, it's a green. It's kind of like a nudie patootie. And this is how she closes. This little like YSL logo, which I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna like that part about it. It's just like a bucket hobo bag that has a large pocket, one large pocket. I don't know if you can see this. Leather pocket on the inside and it's just spacious and it's roomy. And honestly, I know that small bags have been in, but I really do like a bigger bag. Like I'm just that kind of person where I like to carry a lot of things and I'm more so concerned about the functionality in terms of size than I am the trend. Like micro bags, I don't know if micro bags are technically like still in, we all know they had a moment. I never bought a micro bag because I, I'm not gonna micro anything. I bring a lipstick, I bring my phone, I like to bring my camera for when I vlog, sunglasses, I carry my husband's glasses. Like I'm just, I'm always carrying things. And I have so many like little travel bags that I have that I pack with like toothpicks and floss and this and that, just in case, even though like, seven out of 10 times I don't use it. I just like having it. I really love this bag and I don't know who I am because I have no business buying it, but I'm telling myself that this is my birthday gift to me. This is what she looks like from the front. This strap can go longer. It can go, yeah, this is the shortest. It's on the shortest. I like it short. It's like a good size for me, but it can go longer. Belt just says Saint Laurent, really small here. Could be quiet luxury, which I like about that. It does say YSL, but technically like it doesn't have to say YSL. I could just flip the little closure on the inside and then it's nobody, do you know? So it's kind of cute. I do think that the logo is super cute and I am gonna try and close it, but we all know that I'm lazy and I'm terrible at closing things. My husband tells us all the time. I'm excited about it. Last night when I went to YSL, the woman who was helping me, Layla, love her name. She was so pretty, oh my God. She had a stack of like silver, like sterling silver bracelets and they looked so good on her. They were so like rock and roll, which is what I kind of feel like I'm trying to hone in on. I feel like I'm trying to perfect my style this year. That's the goal. Hone into my like rock and roll, kind of like laid back, carefree vibe. Cause I feel like I miss being more carefree than I am. I'm very laid back, but I have a lot of anxiety. We all know this. But anyway, very long story short, cause I need to cut it short. Elena was wearing a bunch of silver bracelets. And so today I was inspired because I was a little sad that I wasn't the one with the stack as I usually am. So I put all my jewelry on. I've been wearing my rings, but all my rings. My grandma gave me this bracelet of hers, sterling silver. I had it resized. I love it. It's very like Italian, chunky. I'm into it. This was my wedding gift, the love bracelet. My husband's bracelet that he gave me. And then a bracelet for my parents. I just feel like it checks all the boxes of sentimentalness that I love in jewelry. I love jewelry. 
jewelry and I feel reinvigorated now that I have my stack back. So I just wanted to share that. I gotta say, Layla at YSL had a major impact on me this weekend. Not only did she inspire me to buy that bag, I love it so much, but she also inspired, honestly, my everything today. I did my hair today because her hair looks so good. I was talking to Mike when I was unboxing and he literally was like, I feel like you have a lady crush on this woman from YSL. And honestly, I think I might. I'm gonna cut the vlog here if you wanna see the rest of my night, the rest of my time chilling, doing things. I have a lot of things that I'm doing tomorrow. Tune into the next one and we're gonna pick it right back up from here. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, so much for joining me. I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.